Hey everyone, I'm Megan. And my name is Jessie. Hey Megan. Yeah. What are these balloons for? Well, those are for my friend Brittany. She's having a birthday party today and I'm in charge of bringing the balloons. I love birthday parties. The balloons, the games, the, you know, the best part about a party, Megan? Tell me, Jessie. The cake! Especially if it is a double chocolate lava explosion cake. That cake would make it the best celebration ever. Ah, Jesse, did you know that in the Bible, the book of Revelation says that there will be a big celebration in heaven one day? Why will they be celebrating? Is it someone's birthday? Uh, it's better than her birthday, Jesse. Angels and people will celebrate and praise God because Jesus fought against evil and won. <gasps> I want to go to that party. Am I invited, Megan? Everyone who believes in Jesus and trusts in him is invited to this party. Watch to learn more about this amazing celebration. John had a vision from God about what will happen when Jesus comes back. A vision is like a dream, but John was awake. John saw a big celebration in heaven. Angels were singing and people were praising God. Hallelujah, they said together. Victory and power belong to God. Praise him. Then John heard loud voices saying, Hallelujah, our God reigns. Let us be glad, be filled with joy and give him glory. Suddenly, John saw a mighty warrior riding on a white horse. The warrior was Jesus. He was coming back to earth. Jesus was strong and powerful, ready to stop all evil. Jesus had a sword and a crown on his head. His name was written on his robe and thigh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Jesus was coming to fight a beast and an evil dragon. The beast and dragon had been causing trouble on earth, but Jesus was stronger than them. He fought against them and won. They could never hurt anyone again. John's vision showed that God will make everything right in the end. Jesus will win against evil and bring happiness to his people. Jesus promised to come back to earth one day. When Jesus returns, he will stop evil. Everyone who trusts in Jesus will be with him and enjoy him forever.
know God will make my path straight I know, I know I'm gonna shout and praise My God can be trusted all the way John had a vision from God about what will happen when Jesus comes back. In his vision, John saw a big celebration in heaven. Angels were singing and people were praising God. They were so happy because something wonderful was about to happen. Hallelujah, they said together. Victory, glory, and power belong to our God. Praise Him. Then John heard a sound as loud as fast moving water or rumbling thunder. Voices said, Hallelujah! Our Lord God, the Almighty, reigns! Let us be glad, rejoice, and give Him glory! Suddenly, John saw heaven open. A mighty warrior was riding on a white horse. The warrior was Jesus, and He was coming back to earth. Jesus was strong and powerful, ready to defeat evil. Jesus had a sharp sword and a crown on His head. His name was written on his robe and his thigh. King of kings and Lord of lords. Jesus was coming to fight a beast and an evil dragon. The beast and dragon have been causing trouble on earth, but Jesus was stronger than them. He fought against them and he won. He threw them into a lake of fire so they could never hurt anyone again. John's vision showed that God will make everything right in the end. Jesus will defeat evil and bring happiness to all his people. Jesus promised to come back to earth soon. When Jesus returns, he will defeat evil once and for all. Those who trust in Jesus will be with him and enjoy him forever.
Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for questions from kids. Gracie from Bentonville, Arkansas asks, If God is all-powerful, why hasn't he destroyed Satan? That is a magnificent question. First, let me say, I think it is great that you understand that God is all-powerful. Remembering that will be good for you for the rest of your life. Now, why would an all-powerful, holy, righteous, and just God not destroy Satan yet? Simply put, his timing is not like our timing. God has a perfect time to do everything. He shows us a little bit of this in the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a time to plant and a time to pluck up. What is planted? A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. There is a time for life and there's a time for death. There is even a time for him to destroy Satan. I love 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. It says, And then the lawless one will be revealed. The Lord Jesus will destroy him with the breath of his mouth and will bring him to nothing at the appearance of his coming. Yes, in a single breath, Jesus will destroy him. What we have to make sure of is that when he destroys Satan and sends him to hell for eternal punishment, that we don't spend eternity separated from God. I hope, I hope and pray you will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today and tell others about him too. Because the eternal punishment for the people who don't love God will be painful and for forever. Jesus will come again, just as he promised. How does this truth make you feel? I would love to hear from you. If you have a question, email me at gospelproject.kids at lifeway.com. And next time, I might be answering a question from you. Say